What's up, guys? If you want to see this Stinghouse catch, um, it is on Locals in the pinned comment. Um, obviously, it's way too spicy um, for here, so it's going to be on Locals in the pinned comment. It's only $5 a month to join. And until February 1st, we're running a promo that you get your first month free if you sign up for monthly. So anyway, join Locals in the pinned comment. You get to see this. A fire lieutenant that got caught many, many, many others early and, of course, uncensored, including where I may or may not have shoved a prod. So be sure to check it out in the pinned comment because February 1st, the price monthly is going up to $7 a month because we hit 2,000 members so quick, the demand's so high, but we're giving you guys a free month until February 1st. But after that, it's going to be $7 a month, so get it now while it lasts. What's up guys, before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here and Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person in in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Uh, package. Uh, she got to give this to Eric. Say again. I'm sorry, I can't hear over the dog. Say one more time. Uh, Eric?
Uh, are, are you Eric? Who are you? My name is uh, my name's Al, but I gotta give this package to an Eric. Okay. My name is Al. Uh, if you're Eric, I just got to hand this to you here. Huh? Okay. Well, I have a, I have messages to Emily I need to talk to you about, man. So we should probably just have a conversation about what's going on. Talking about Emily, who's messaging you on Facebook, I got to talk to you about her because I have a lot. Of, I have all the messages right here in this bag, and I just want to have a conversation about it because, you know, I think it's pretty important that this happens. I'm not here to hurt you or cause any trouble. Okay, well, Eric, I'm here to have a conversation with you. It doesn't really matter if you're gonna like pretend to not know. I mean, I'm giving you the courtesy of having this talk with you and just getting it addressed like this, but if you don't want to address it like this, then that's up to you, but I'm just, I'm just saying it's in your best interest to just have a talk about what's going on. Sorry, man. What can I do for you, sir? Sorry, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kind of, what can I do for you? Okay, so, I have everything. Because there's all kinds of stuff that I've talked to people and everything like that, and so I don't, there's, that really narrows it down. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah. You know, there's all kinds of actresses that I talk to, you know, all kinds of stuff and everything like that. So I don't know. That doesn't narrow it down. Yeah, it's, it's in the pocket here. I don't have anything on me. You don't have any, you're not carrying anything on you right now. No, I don't, okay. I'm not going to invite a stranger into my house. No, no, I'm not going in unless you invite me. But look, so basically with your Facebook, this was... This was the girl that pretended, or you pretended to be in Fort Worth, okay? And we have the recorded phone call that someone your friend sent you, okay? And, you know, like, honestly, if, if you want to play dumb about it, I mean, that's that's your loss. I mean, because I just want to talk to you about it, man, so. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm willing to talk about, you know, I mean, I do remember uh, Emily did talk to her on Facebook. I met her through uh, Twitter uh -huh. uh, uh, and everything like that. I followed her and everything like that, you know, and I figured, you know, she just, you know, you know, because I, I, I play with, or I don't play with, I talk to, you know, people, you know, you know trauma kinks, you know, pretty kinky stuff on, on, right. on Twitter and stuff, so. Right. So I just, you know, I just kind of followed her from Twitter. So, I mean, what what's the deal? What, what? So, basically, um, the deal is that she wasn't an adult, and, you know, you are an adult, and look, Dude, this dog's annoying the heck out of me. All the cars are annoying the heck out of me. I didn't come here for a two second conversation, okay? I do have three other people with me, not here to hurt you and not carrying any weapons, but you know, I don't want the neighbors overhearing what's going on. So again, I can't force myself in and nor am I, but I think it's probably best we just sit around in the living room and just have an honest heart to heart about this. I mean, I what are you trying to do to me? I mean, what... just, just ask you what the heck's going on. Figure, figure it out. Figure out how you can get a dress from here. I don't want money. I don't want you harmed. I don't want anything. I'm not here to take anything from you or anything. I don't want to be left alone. That's why I got rid of all this stuff. I got rid of my Twitter mm -hmm. and everything like that. So why am I being bothered? Well, the thing is, you know, I saw that you got rid of everything after your friend sent you that phone call. Phone call? Oh. Yes. With... I, the, your friend in Seattle that sent you the phone call and that you try to pass off is like, oh, I was just messing around that phone call that you had with Emily. I was about 40 minutes long. And again, you can keep playing dumb about it, but... I'm not trying to play dumb. I'm okay. just saying I act a lot on, online and, okay. and do a lot of, I don't know, say, kinky... I mean, that's, that's, that's what I did for a while and everything like that. And now I'm, I'm totally done with it and stuff like that. Actually, I'm trying to, trying to heal and trying to move on with mm -hmm. life and everything. So, I mean... So I'm trying to understand, what, what do you want? I'm not trying to play dumb. Okay. All right, you know. I, well, I mean, just when you said, what phone call. But look, look, well, I know. I don't remember I, the phone call. Cause okay. Oh, look, basically, okay. basically, look, I know you're going through a lot right now, and you're a single father, right? Okay. You're doing a great job raising your kid. I know you care about her.
ton, okay? So basically, I don't want the neighbors hearing this because I don't know if they'd call anybody or not, but I don't, you know, the voice obviously echoes here. And again, I'm not here to hurt you, put my hands on you, anything like that, dude. Neither are they that are with, around that corner right there. Nobody's- I mean, are you a cop? I mean, like, what is going on? I'm, I'm not. And that's why I think it's important to have this conversation because I'm, I'm literally not a cop. And I think, and I think me coming to your door and just wanting to talk to you about it's the best way. Well, I, mean, I would like to communicate, I like to put this behind me and, okay. and, and, and not have this bother me anymore. Yeah, and I'm just saying the stuff in here on all these messages, it doesn't look too good for you. And that's why I think like, can we, okay, I got friends coming here. Okay. Yeah. Look, look, Eric, listen, 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 Eric. Look, hold on, man. Okay. I said just to, I'm not going to have, you know, like I said, I don't want to be bothered by this. Anymore. Right. And I'm not saying we're here to make you famous or to bother you, but I think we're not having a group of people coming to my house. This is my sanctuary. This is where my daughter lives. In, you know. I know. So I'm not, and you know, so I'm done with any of my online stuff. I'm not done. I, I'm, I'm done with. I, I cut out all kinds of stuff because it's because it was it felt like poison. So you know, because I got involved with some. You don't have to say some truth. There's some ugly people out there. I know, and, and, and that's kind of. And I fed into a lot. Then that's, that's kind of what I want. Really that's kind of that's kind of what I want. What I want to figure out. And you know, if you want to shut the door on all of us, I'm just gonna say um, that's probably not the best decision for you because all we want to do is just have a conversation. And the reason, and the reason there's cameras there is be literally for safety, so you can be assured. Because if you lie and go call the cops and say we busted into your house, tried to blackmail you, and all of this stuff, I could say no, it's on film. Actually, quite the contrary. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to do that just because I'm just a scared guy. Right. You know, so I mean, I, I get that. I, and we both have like we. I'm sorry to meet you like this, man. We, we both have like red ginger beards. It's, it's, a, it's a game. Look at that handshake. <laughs> you know? So look, you're obviously struggling standing up here. And I think we should just, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna sit near you. I don't wanna make you uncomfortable. But, you know, I'm requesting, you know, honestly, cause I'm, I came all the way here to do you quite a solid to just have a conversation with you about this. So at, I think at the bare minimum, you should probably just let us in and just have a talk with you. I, really, I still don't see why I should be bothered by Literally, your neighbor's right here about to ask what's going on. She just pulled up. So, do you, do you just want to go inside and talk about it, or? Just, just you, not, not my, not, not another crowd. Can I bring one of them in there? I don't, I don't, I, see, I, now I don't feel safe going in alone. I'd rather have one come in there with me. I don't feel safe with you, with you just coming in. Well, I can assure you, because that's why we're filming, because we're not here to hurt you. Yeah. And I'm not here to take anything or to yeah, look I'm at anything. Pretty much damn near, and, and I'm trying to recover from a, uh, from the next or yeah, the next and everything, you know. So I mean, I, letting a stranger in is 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 not a good idea. Well, okay, well, I mean, obviously, if if, if I hurt you, the PD is only a few a few minutes away, you know. So <laughs> no, man. So I mean, look. I mean, I'm going to tell you, if you want to continue this conversation, it has to be with me and one other. If you don't want to continue and shut the door, you're just going to leave this evidence in my hand and you're going to make me pretty pissed off. So, I mean, um, and that's not necessary, you know, I mean, right. So, so can we please just come in just two of us? Two. Okay. But if you, is there a light you can turn on in here? Just want everything. Just... Okay. Uh, mind if I turn, cut the light? Turn the light. Okay. Okay. Sure. And there's no. Is there any guns in here? No. Okay. Uh. Cool. Cool. Is there one I can turn on in here? Where's? Oh. Made me twirl like a ballerina, Eric. Oh, here it is. Okay. Coo, coo, coo. All right. How do you how do you even sleep with that dog there, man? I don't sleep often. Okay, I figure. It's like a, it's like a twenty four hour alarm clock, man. All right, you're recording too. Yep. Fair enough. That's literally, literally just so we both have that insurance, you know. But why am I being bothered? Why you know I. I you know, cut this person off because it didn't, it just didn't feel right and everything, you know, and, and plus, you know, I came to a, 
how do I say? I was like, you know, this, 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 these actresses that I'm dealing with and everything like that are, you know, I gotta focus on other stuff. So that's why I was like, yeah, well, screw this and everything like that. So I mean, what, so what, what's what, what, what's going on? What, what, what's what's the deal? Oh, did 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 you, did you kind of cut her off because you felt guilty about her age? No, I didn't know. Her, I, I figured her age was fake. No, I cut her off because there was all the people that were like that that wanted to play these role playing games. Oh, that were all telling you they were like underage and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, from Twitter, you know, the age kinks. Yeah. You know, role play. You know, all these just other, you know, uh, kinks like that. And yeah. The trauma kinks. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so basically, like. How, how many how many of these profiles would tell you they were underage and like get kinky with you and stuff like that? Shoot, I mean, at, at least ten. And what, you know, any ones that are like on Twitter that would have like trauma kinks and they would have, you know, they would always have posts about some you know kinky. Sh My dad used to come in and, and everything and, and play with me when I was you know all that type. It's really kinky, dark. Okay. And so I mean, that's that's where I found. And that's, there's my daughter. Hey, hide the camera. Hey, hey, can can you can you guys uh, maybe go away for like twenty minutes, um, please? Yeah. Okay, come here. Hello. Hey, I'll talk to you in a minute. Hello. Be right. Twenty minutes, okay? Yeah, we make sure to hide the camera and everything. See, I'm trying to do you solid, man. I'm not trying to bring anybody else into this. Okay, so like, were these other accounts, did they also say they were like Emily's age, like 11 or 12 and stuff like that? Oh, some of them, yeah. yeah okay. Like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm 13, is that okay? Uh -huh. There's certain stuff like that, but I mean, they sell content, they, no 13, 14 year olds are gonna talk about what they're talking about, and if they are, whoa, that's some crazy entrapment or something, that's pretty wicked. But, uh -huh. but anyway. So all these like basically quote unquote young teens or little girl accounts would hit you up and start talking sexual like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, you know, I, I'm, I'm on my Twitter and stuff, you know, I'm, you know, I would post that, uh, you know, uh, trauma king, you know, uh, age play. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, 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 you, know you know, stuff like that, uh, uh, you know, no limits, you know, all kinds of kinks, you know, so I mean. It, it, it all, I just assumed it was just all part of the role play, you know, that type of thing. Sure. So, I'm sorry, before we get into anything, how, how did you injure your neck, man? A For, uh, forklift accident. Okay, so that's, what, when, when did that happen? I don't remember that being a thing. Like, I, I know, I know, like, I don't not believe you, but it was just like recent and stuff like that? Yeah, sure. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you any other, you know, other specific information, my friend. You know, okay. Just, Let's just stick to the. Okay. Stick to what, what's what's what, what the deal is. What's 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 going to happen. What you know. What's all you know. All yeah. This. Yeah. No, I get that. I'm I, well, I'm glad you're here, man. Just truly. But um. Okay. Because I just want all I want to <clears> do is just just move on. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with any more of this. This this stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you. So you said you started on Twitter with Emily. I mean that makes sense. That? You started on Twitter with Emily. Yeah. I found. Yeah. Yeah. I found our. Uh, Found her on Emily, or found her on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And, and with the people that she followed and everything like that, which were, you know, you know, trauma, <laughs> you know, the, the, you know, kind of kinky role play people, you know. So yeah. It's just, it's all, it all just seemed role, like role playing to me, so I just kind of fed into it, and, and, and sometimes some of the things that they would say would, would, would blow my mind and everything. I'm just like, it's like, it catch me almost off guard, like. What would they tell you? Oh, well, it's like sometimes, like, um, uh, uh, you know, they, they would try to involve, you know, like involve my daughter and everything like that, or, or you know, I would get far enough to where they know that I have a daughter, mm. and, you know, well, would you do this with your daughter and stuff? And then I would be like, oh, yeah, sure, am I, you know, so it would get really bad. So that's, that's really when I really start to be like, oh, this is pretty fucked up. You know, I don't need, no. This is darkness. I really don't need to do this anymore. This yeah. Is, I'm going down a dark path. So that's when I just started. Yeah, that's when I cut off my Twitter and and uh, um, uh, and then like with the, with the thing with with uh, excuse me, got caught mouth with uh, Emily and everything. You know, it, it just like it, it was just it was just all part of it. 
Okay. okay. This is, she's this, she's from Twitter, and so let's just get done done with this and everything. I'm you know done with this fantasy. Uh, this was never going you know going to happen. Whatever. Uh -huh. you know, this is just uh, 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 you know just weirdness. You know. So that, that's yeah. That's when I cut everything off. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, makes sense. Okay. So basically. So whether you believe it or not, I mean, Emily told you she was like 11 or 12, didn't she? She did, but you know, again, that's, you know, when you see her on, on Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, lying about age, you know, stuff like that, and then just telling stories and everything like that, you, I just figured it was role play. Okay. So, so, so you, you remember her saying like 11 or 12, but you just didn't like believe it? Is that kind oh, of no, what? Oh, no, not at all. I didn't believe one minute. Okay. You know, not, not one, one, not one second. Okay. You, so you just remember her saying that though, but that's, huh? but you remember her just telling you that kind of, or? Well, yeah, I remember, do you remember my age and everything like that? I uh -huh. never like respond that she would say, oh, I'm this number and okay. everything. Uh, I think it was 11 and uh -huh. stuff and, and I wouldn't really acknowledge it. I would just kind of, you know, uh, sure. go on with my role play. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought you... Yeah, I mean, here, I mean, I get maybe it's role playing, but here, here, I uh, said by you, I adore you so much. I never want to lose contact with you ever again. And she said, but you blocked me. And you said, I was scared, honey bunny. So you did block her on Twitter before. What's that? Well, oh. I, I blocked her on Twitter and stuff like that because uh, I didn't, uh, um, she wouldn't, she wouldn't respond or, or uh, when she would and everything like that. Uh, I, weeks later so I was like okay this is just a sketchy person and that's when I blocked her on Twitter I think I mean you mentioned here you you were scared role playing that's all part of the role play what's like how is that part of the role play well like you know it was taboo and everything like that you okay. know, so like you know I'm I was I was I was scared you know so I'm, I'm, I'm you know yeah I play it on Twitter I played uh, 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 you know uh, you know it was like a, an act and everything like that. It was never nothing was ever real and everything like that. So that's why it got so dark. Okay, so you basically act as this act as somebody that's into underage on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, okay. pretty much like kinda like a you know kinky sleazy, you know, uh, uh almost and everything uh -huh. like that. Um, um but yeah, so I I mean I, I yeah. So you basically you, you just cause you mentioned there's a lot of like Profiles representing themselves as underage that you know you, you all get kinky with each other. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. would you is it fair to say like you just act like a on Twitter? Yeah, okay, because yeah, sure. uh, you know they, they, they seem like they, they get off on some of the, the things I would you know comment on and everything like oh, I you know my dad did this to me and everything like that, and I would like comment like uh, oh, well, that. <laughs> Stretch, I'm not having him do anything, but yeah, go on. Sorry, <laughs> um. You know, and I'll be like, oh yeah, that reminds me when you know when me and my sisters and everything like that when we were young and everything would you know do this or whatever you know, um, and then they would, you know respond to that positively. And yeah. Like that. So it was just you know just so much kink, what, so much just. Uh, uh, ugh, yeah. When did these like kinky feelings start for you? Like to get into this type of stuff? Oh, I've 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 been. I was, there were some not bad things that happened when I was a kid, so I was turned uh, on to, to stuff, stuff like that when I was really young. So, so, so basically, you think all of this could could have been as a result of what happened to you when you were younger? Oh, possibly. Okay. You know, possibly just like acting it out. Sure, like sure. Just kind of like, you know, just stepping into that world for a second, you know, just when I'm really bored or whatever. You know, so. I, if I may ask, I mean, you know, don't get into detail if you don't want to, but like, how old were you when it happened to you? Three. Somewhere around there. Sorry to hear that, man. Um, yes. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to hear that happened. Um, so, so do you, do you think that's how how you got these feelings, at least for like underage fantasies? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Because like I'm not I probably all stems. I'm not a psychologist or anything. You're right, right. Yeah, neither am I, but. I don't know. I'm sure it all stems from from that somehow, some type of trauma, uh -huh. you know, and, and I chose to act out some of these things, whatever, on Twitter. And, sure. And, and, and now some of my acting is getting me into trouble for, for, just for, just for getting in trouble for a fantasy. Well, I don't think you need trouble. I just think you maybe need some help or something. Well, I, the, 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 the help that I need is, is, is cutting it out and, sure. and cutting off the, 
accessibility to 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 to, to, to read these these uh, these people's twitters and, and everything uh-huh. like that. So uh, yeah, uh, so I cut Twitter out and and lots of my uh, social media and stuff like that. I'm not saying all my social media is is you know kinky like that, but sure. I mean, like, some of it's foot fetish. Stuff right, so right, right. You know, anyway, but I mean. Um, you know, so I, 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 I'm, I'm cutting out the, the, the you know, certain things that, that fed uh, the darkness, I guess you could say. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, w- with Emily, I mean, role play or not, I mean, it got pretty pretty chippy, I would say, um, between the two of you. Know, you. If you want to tell me, I'm, I, okay. I know what I wrote. For sure. You know, you know, I, I know what I fantasized about, fantasized about and stuff yeah. like that and, and projected, you know, some fantasy that we were gonna you know meet up somewhere you know, right in right texas and everything like that and da, 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 da. how'd you get texas where how'd you get that like in your huh uh, how'd you just come up with texas just curious it's just random thought okay you know so i'm a storyteller you know i tell stories so i just project stories mm-hmm. so. so who did you think emily was Oh, I fear she was just some, you know, um, you know, kink actress, whatever, you know, like I said, from Twitter. Okay. And everything like that, uh, portraying, you know, this, 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 you know, teenage doll. Okay, so you thought it was like a female? What's that? Did you think it was like a female? Yeah, I it was okay. female. Okay, okay. So, because uh, I was going to ask, because, you know, if you said it was a male, I would have been like, okay, so why'd you send your picture to yeah. a male? Uh, okay. I was like, I don't think you're gay. Well, I'm, I am. I am bi. Okay, well, there's nothing wrong with that. And I've, you know, and I've talked to, you know, you know, you know, guys on Twitter like that too, and everything like that. You know, so it's not like guys that represented themselves as underage and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you know, but you know, they're selling content and everything. Like okay. That, so it gets really, really iffy. If they're selling content, well, you got to be at yeah, of age at least, whatever. Sure. Anyway. Okay. Do Do you remember how many times you sent your Pick to this Emily profile on Facebook, or no, a couple times. Okay, did you send any videos? I think I have one video saved or yeah, two. I think I sent a video. Okay, have you? I think so. Okay, okay. You know, thinking that's you know just some kinky actress. Yeah. You know, yeah. Always back to that because that's what I thought. Okay. You know, so that's what she portrayed on on Twitter. So I just kind of followed that lead. For sure. Um, so basically, is it kind of similar? Like you mentioned, it's like similar messages, but do you also send your picture to like the other people that represent themselves as underage and stuff like that? Or there's so many people uh-huh. and everything like that on, on Twitter that I, that's that's why I'm saying I got lost in this this circus of freaks, so to speak. Sure. And uh, and I'm a freak too myself and everything just to get involved in some of it, but. Uh, you know, so I, I imagine my, I'm out there somewhere. Okay, do you, do you just kind of remember sending your pic to all these profiles? Male and female, for sure. Okay. Do you send it to any of the males that represent themselves as underage, your pic? Excuse me. Um, you know, I, I imagine I, you know, I have. Okay. You know. These, these these profiles whatever that want to get kinky. Mm-hmm. You know, no, that's fair. They, they they send me, I send them. You know, so it's all it's all we share pics. You know. Okay. So do these profiles? Do they send you nudes of themselves too? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. And these are the profiles representing themselves as underage. Just any of these nudes? Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 like the titles in their thing, you know, age play, age king, uh-huh. you know, DDLG. You know, daddy, you know, uh, looking for, you know, you know, a dominant, you know, stuff like that, you know. Okay. You know, predicting themselves out there looking for some kinky fun. Okay. And so y'all would, do the guys send you nudes too, like the underage some, guys? I have no or, idea if they're underage. Well, like the ones saying they're underage. But I've seen some, yeah. Okay, okay. Did Emily ever send you any nudes of herself? No. Okay. Do any of the girls that represent themselves as underage send you nudes too? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I've seen all kinds of stuff. Okay. So, do they always send you nudes, or sometimes, or? So I would say sometimes. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I've seen all kinds of stuff on Twitter. Yeah. And did you all ever text on Telegram at all? Telegram. Yeah. No, I haven't been on Telegram. Okay. Have you ever been on Telegram? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. I don't remember Telegram. Got it. So y'all talked about. 
With, with, so with the other profiles besides Emily, do you guys talk about like your personal life at all or? Just kinky stuff. Okay, like is there any stuff like your favorite color or your favorite food or? I can't your... tell you, I can't remember. Okay, is it mostly just kinky stuff? It's mostly kinky stuff. Okay. Do you ever talk about like marrying the other profiles that message you? Besides, like, do you ever talk about like you know, there's a guy, there's a guy that pretends to be underage or is underage, whatever. He's messaging you. Do you ever talk about marriage with him, or do you talk about marriage with other? I don't think marriage ever came up. Okay, with and these are with like all these other profiles. No other profile. Okay. No, no, the only other time I came up with the uh, marriage was this uh, this this, uh, this Indian lady, <laughs> like that. So you mean an Indian male? Probably. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. But my daughter needs to get here, so we need to cut this short. So if we, we, what, what's what's the conclusion here? I, 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 well, you got to the idea what of what's going on. So what? What's the next step? What's what? Are you, what what's going to happen? I would probably tell her maybe another twenty minutes. I can't. I mean, it's literally up to you. I mean, I don't, you know, if, if you want to put her in the room, just kind of like a way to where she can't hear what's going on, that, that could work too. But, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to read all these word for word, but I, yeah, I'm kind of, don't need, don't need to, it's not for necessary. sure not. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to get to the point. Right. And, and I, pr my, my, my daughter's been gone for a couple of days. So I want, I want to see my daughter. So I want, I want this to end. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what's, what's the conclusion? What, what, what are we going to do to end this? Let's, what, what, let's, cause I'm done doing all kinds of, you know, that stuff online and everything like that. And the only thing I got is foot face stuff on my, on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so I, I want to see my daughter. I want to forget all about all this crap. Okay. I mean, I just want to kind of touch base on some of these. Okay. So, I mean, hey, hey, baby, roll just on break this time. Emily, think of you, hee hee. Is it bad I want to kiss your leg and lick up your, and lick, kiss your feet and lick up your cute legs? Okay, what about it? Is that what you said to her? Is that like I, a... It sounds like stuff that I've said to a bunch of people. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, I mean, you know, just to... And, 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 and keep in mind, this is all because, you know, thinking that she's some type of... You know, age kink actress. Oh, I, I guess that. Um, okay. I want you. From Twitter. Okay. And with this Emily account, did you talk about having sex with her? Just talk about it. Uh, obviously, I know you didn't meet her, but. talk about kinky stuff. Okay. Sure. Okay. My yearn to protect you, love above others doesn't sound bad to me, and how I want to make you feel good in every way, make you smile, always happy. To have you kiss here. I was passionate, I was kinky, I was. Do you think you had a connection with her? Connection? Yeah. Uh -huh. I doubt that. Okay. Okay, mm, I put my mouth on you. It sucks firmly, wiggling my tongue in and out and down, sliding it in your watching your body react to the intense sensation of breathe heavy. I can't resist, can I take it out? My unzip my pants and it pulls out, takes your hand and puts it on my throbbing so you feel how hard and warm it is. So this was, you kind of remember saying stuff like this to Emily? Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's, that's tons of other people. Got it. Okay. Do you say this to, like, pretty much all the accounts that represent I themselves? Or? That's pretty much, like, some of my lingo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, using c stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say c That's kind of dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which movies didn't feel you head to toes? As I kiss you from your neck to your little <laughs> my other hand would slide under your panties and gently massage your making you tingle and wet. My fingers still rubbing your up and down as you feel my daddy pulses to your touch. You feel it harden more and get warmer. I lick my fingers, taste your sweetness. Mm, want to try sucking it. And I assume you were probably, mm, want to try sucking it, you probably meant your there. Sure. Okay. I mean, is that why? Yeah, use your imagination. I don't need to, to elaborate. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes, we live close, baby girl, a little over 50 miles. Okay. Yeah, and then after you sent your picture, you said suck the tip and suck deeper if you can. Hee hee. Okay. I mean, I think maybe there was a little bit of getting carried away here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was, like I said, it was confusing. 
No. Do you uh, talk to the other, like, accounts that say they're underage about, like, your daughter at all? Hmm? Do you talk to the other accounts that say they're underage? Like, do you, like, you just, like... I, I, I don't bring it up. Uh -huh. Sometimes, like, when there's certain accounts I've, you know, gotten to know, whatever like that, like, you know, they find out that they're a single mom, and oh, I'm a single dad, and everything sure. like that. Um, you know, so, I mean, there's, there's, there have been, you know, uh, discussions of, of, uh, you know, what would you do if, you know, if she walked in and everything like that. Right. Or, you know, you know, certain, you know, things like that. And that's not just with Emily. What's that? That's not just with Emily, that's with other accounts too? Yeah. Okay, okay. And how old's your daughter? She's five, right? Yeah, she will be. Okay, so she's four right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Yeah, and there was a phone call with Emily. And I'm sorry, to the other underage accounts, do you send, like, pictures of your daughter to them? No. No. Have you ever before to the other ones? I've, I think I've shared maybe once or twice, but uh -huh. I can't remember. Okay. I think it was like, a picture of me and her or something like that. It was... Oh, I can't remember. It was something like that. I'm not talking about to Emily. I'm just talking about to, like, other accounts. Yeah, other accounts. Yeah, I mean, there are some other accounts I'm more friendly with. Uh-huh. You know, not necessarily, like, kinky, kinky. Sure. You know, but, I mean, it's still a little kinky, but still, you know, talking about other stuff. Yeah. And family and, and, and celebrations or, or whatever. Could those be the accounts you maybe think are, like, more real than not real? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, for oh, sure. Okay. So you're talking about... You know more life stuff. You know, I granted they're, they're probably a little more not just worker. Right, know, but, like probably probably who they say they are. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. Are are any of those? And again, I like it's just talk online. But are any of those accounts that you talk about like family with and stuff like that, and like your job and your favorite food, or do any of them like say they're underage also? No. Okay. So you you only talk about your family life and all that with accounts who you think are real and stuff or it really depends on the mood okay I mean, if they ask it depends on what they ask so yeah it depends on the mood okay so emily asked here do you like girls my age he he i guess assuming she was 11 or 12 as the role play was and he said mm, yes i do i love little girls he he and you are perfect Yep, playing the fantasy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously with what happened to you when you were younger, man, I think the internet's probably sucked you into, like you said, some pretty bad places, man. I mean, to... Yeah, and I'm, like I said, I'm, uh, you know, cutting certain things out, so I'm, I'm working on certain demons mm -hmm. and everything like that to be a better father. A have you had these fantasies pretty much like your whole adult life? Mm, I would say so. Okay. And... Ever since I was little, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I know it's hard to talk about, and I appreciate it, because, you know, I'm trying to, like, just figure it all out here, why this happened. So, you're 41 now, or 42, right? One of those two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <clears throat> if this has been happening, let's just say for 20 years, these fantasies, give or take, that's, correct me if I'm wrong, this has been happening for, like, 20 years, how did you first kind of dive into these fantasies online? Like, you know, 20 years ago, there was no Twitter, no Facebook, no, none of that. How, how did it start for you? 20 years ago? Yeah, if, you, if you've had these fantasies for your whole adult life. No, well, I mean, I'd watch and everything like that. I'd find and everything to watch when I was young. Mm-hmm. So, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking, or how you're... Well, like, how, how did you play out this underage fantasy online, um, like, 20 years ago, when there was no Facebook and Twitter? I guess I didn't. Okay. You know, just kind of balled it in, I guess. Okay. Because, you know, obviously with these with these new apps and, you know, these apps actually have people on here that like to kids and stuff like that. And I'm not saying you're that, but I'm saying, you know, you're probably finding yourself in the wrong crowd. And Well, yeah, that's when I started noticing mm -hmm. and everything like that. You know, it was just it's starting to get too much. I was like, and then I started feeling uncomfortable with what they would ask me. I mean, even Emily asked me, you know, some stuff that caught me off guard and everything like that. What'd she ask you? She asked me if I would let Willow, my daughter, uh -huh. suck it and everything like that. And uh, it caught me off guard and everything like that. And I kind of was like, I guess. I, you know, I, I mm -hmm. hesitantly, reluctantly would just kind of went with the fantasy. And yeah. Then that's when I was like, you know, that, 
that was like the turning point right there. I was like, oh, you know, and then when the phone call finished and everything like that, that's when I, you know, yeah, started, like I said, uh, blocked her and, and then uh, uh, deactivated my Twitter and, and it just cut off uh, uh, anything that kind of would relate to any diabolical fantasies like that. Right, because, you, you know, I, I think what happens with a lot of these fantasies, like, kind of gets people, not just you, but people down a rabbit hole that are otherwise good people. And, you know, the people that make this fear are truly evil. They need to be, I think. But they get, pe they get people like you into this type of fantasy. And, you know, if you mentioned you've seen all of the, the curiosity. Though. Is it, do you think it's like the taboo makes you excited? It's, the, oh, it's definitely the taboo part of it. Uh -huh. You know you're not supposed to. Right. Like that, but you just want to see how far the rabbit hole goes. And you, you kind of like test... To like kind of push your limits, I guess. I guess you could say, and see what what's what really what's really wrong to you, and what's really not. I guess. Mm -hmm. So, kind of what, what I'm getting at here, and again, I know you don't like produce any of it or whatever, but like I'm I'm getting at people use like child to get people like you sucked into that maybe they shouldn't be a part of. Not to make a foot fetish joke here, but getting your toes dipped in the wrong water. Yeah. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's so. But I haven't seen anything like that. Though. Right, but if, if you said that you've seen a lot of stuff, like, you know, because I know on Twitter they post it everywhere, at least they used to. But child? Yeah, or maybe not even necessarily, but maybe just naked pictures of younger people under 18. Oh, oh. That's very possible. I, you know, I figured they would crack down on stuff like that, but I mean, it's, there's lots of nudity on there, mm -hmm. regardless. Right, and then, you know, these, then these accounts saying that they're underage, sending you nudes of themselves and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see what's, yeah, it's you know, those, these, these so-called underage, you know, accounts mm -hmm. and everything, you know, selling content. So, I mean, you, you get blurred on what's reality and, right. and whatnot. So, I mean, like, you've got to be 18 at least to be selling content or you're selling, some, you know, something that's, I don't know. <laughs> right. I mean, you, you know, I, I didn't come here basically only knowing about Emily. Um, you know, I came all the way actually from Texas, believe it or not. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping to see you on the 13th, but whatever. I actually came here from Texas. So I, I didn't come here not knowing like, you know, purchases and stuff like that. Is there ever a time where maybe you bought some of the content they were selling, whether you knew what it would be or not? Negative. Negative. I never put my financials and everything on Twitter or, okay. or, or anything like that. Okay. And look, I, I know these people on Twitter, like sometimes they DM you stuff, like images that maybe they didn't ask for. Yeah, yeah. Okay, has, has that happened where you maybe didn't ask for it and you had to block them or? No, it'd be like a, you know, a link to, a, to like a dating site or whatever, you know. Would, would they ever send you like links to sites that maybe are illegal? I wouldn't know if it was illegal or not. Okay, because you know, I, ha I have a message here of you linking this site to Emily. I forgot what the hell the site was called, but it's in here somewhere. Uh, uh, right, of, of you saying, and you know, if you didn't save anything, then good on you, but of you, of you saying like, these girls are your age and you can, watch, you can watch these young girls do stuff. And I'm kind of wondering how you came across that, who sent that to you, how you started watching that. That website, that's an old website. Okay. It's been around for a while. Okay. Kind of like, kind of like Sure, just a more taboo, pretty much. I mean, I guess. I mean, they all have this kind of the same content, just more. They have like more amateur, amateur stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I know you like talk to adults, and obviously you were married at one point, so you have to be attracted to adults to make a kid, you know. But um, you know, you mentioned specifically that the girls in the videos that you were watching were underage, and no, I said that they're cl uh, close to her age. Right, and if she's saying that she's 11 or 12, you know, close as an 18. Well, again, this is uh, come from the mentality of, you know, thinking she's already 18, but again, still kind of role playing mm -hmm. when they look young and everything like that, you know, so they might tell, you know, look, look your age, you know, so it's, it's, I didn't say all that, but that's just kind of, you know, what I was kind of getting at. Right. I mean, do you think there's a chance that some of those girls in those videos could have been a little bit too young? Oh, I, I doubt it. Okay. Honestly, yeah, I doubt it. Okay. Snuggle and fall asleep together, blah, blah, blah. So... But then again, you know, I have, I have, I have no idea who regulates or 
you know, uh, right, right. Yeah. So basically, you know, earlier, earlier you mentioned, and look, I know you would never actually harm a kid in person, which is why he kept this online, and you know, ch kept yeah, changing your location and stuff. Strictly fantasy. Right. But what I'm kind of seeing an inconsistency with is you mentioned with the other accounts that said they were underage, you didn't talk about your kid really too much, um, didn't really send pictures of your kid, didn't really talk about marriage or your favorite food or any of that stuff. But with Emily, with Emily, here, here you guys are talking about your favorite foods. Mexican, that gives me a reason to try my Graham's chocolate cake recipe. And, you know, out of sensitivity to your daughter, I didn't print her picture out that you sent of you and her, um, you know, just leaving her out of this completely. But you did send a picture of you and your daughter to Emily. Yeah, I knew there was one out there. You, yep. And you talked about, you know, a divorce. You talked about getting married. And I'm not saying you actually wanted to marry her, but... It's been so many messages, couldn't even remember that. Right. <laughs> so, so that's what kind of makes me think that, and obviously talking on the phone... You said specifically your voice sounds very young and sweet. And a lot of those actresses can do that too. Right. But what I'm getting at here is when you're talking about your family life, you're sending pictures of your daughter, you know, not like any inappropriate ones, obviously, but you know, just you and your daughter, like right, right. putting her face I, I was, out there. Yeah, I, was, I was being friendly. Right. Yeah, and sure. that, that's, that's what kind of makes me think that, not really think, but that makes me know that you did think she was real. And I think the reason you blocked her is because you didn't actually want to do this with a real kid and you realize that you're going a little bit too far. Well, I had, I had, you know, some su suspicions and yeah, that's probably why I did, you know, okay. uh, block her and everything like that. Cause yeah, she did sound a little too young and you know, who knows what pictures were real and everything like that. But uh, it just, you know, it just sounded more and more sketchy. Right. But basically, like that. so it was just like, but, okay. But you mentioned these other underage accounts, at least saying they're underage. They ask you to buy content. They ask you for money. Oh yeah. Some of them, a lot of them will. Or, or a lot of them will just, you know, just, they'll just talk. Right. You know, fantasies. Right. So, did Emily ever ask you for money? For money? Yeah. I don't remember her asking for, for money. No, did she ask you for money? Did Emily ask her for money? Yeah. I don't remember her asking okay, for okay. money. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, misheard. You live by a highway, man. You can't blame me. But that, that's what kind of makes me think that there was a belief she was real. And there was a belief that, you know... Well, yeah. Right. And that's why the conversation started in like July, ended in December, because, you know, I think you realized you, maybe you took it too far and got a little bit too carried away and that you're probably texting a real girl and you didn't want to, you didn't want it to actually go that far. It's very possible. Okay. That's very possible. So, I mean, through, through your mind, I mean, especially after the phone call, during the phone call, because yeah, there's voice actresses like, hey, hello, blah, 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 blah. But oh, yeah. Emily sounds... Well, I mean, <laughs> Emily sounds like Emily, you know? Emily doesn't sound like an actress. I mean, she sounds like a very, very young kid. And that's what made me think, especially after the phone call, that I think you had a little bit of a guilty conscience about what was happening. Yeah, maybe, yeah, possibly. So in your, in, your, in your mind, was there that possibility that she could have been real? Yeah, there's always that possibility. Right. With online stuff, there's always that possibility. Right. But, you know, I just kind of... Well, yeah, you know, I, I just kind of refuse it, you know, to right. really let me believe that there's that possibility and just kind of, she's from Twitter, she's right. this, this, and that, you know, this is just another one of those but, things. But basically, you know, there's there's that possibility with every single one of them that, oh, yeah. say they're underage, but you know, you, you can start to tell when they're fake, when they start to sell you stuff, when they start to... Well, when they start to advertise or when they start to, like, right. want to buy you this, want to sure. buy you that. And Emily, Emily never did that throughout the yeah, five months y'all talked. I don't think so. And, <clears throat> you know, this could have been a once in a blue moon where you oh. thought you were talking to somebody real, but... Well, she might have on Twitter. Nah, she didn't, because I have those messages, oh, too. Okay. I can assure you. All right. Well, okay. just, yeah, it's like I said, yeah. been, so many sure. messages and weird, weird, weirdos. Sure. <laughs> and, I like myself. And, and basically, kind of what else gets me um, to that you thought she was real is... You know, you blocked her on Twitter, sure, for not responding. Not trying to scam you because she never asked you for money. But then you reach out to her again on Facebook and then double text her on Facebook to try to get her attention again. I don't think a smart guy like you would do that with a fake account. That's trying to sell you and scam you money. Right, right. Okay. Well, I just remember her 
you know, always saying, hey, uh, if you want to be friends up with me on Facebook, you know, go on Facebook. Okay. And everything like that. So I always, you know, would, you know, would say hi just to see if, if, if she would say hi. Okay. And then it kind of got... And eventually she did. And it kind of got carried away again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So were there times, at least maybe leading up to the call or during the call, where there was a belief that, hey, this is, this could, this is probably a real kid and I should maybe step away from this? No, I still believe that she was just an 18 year old. That's why I said anything that I said and did anything okay. that I did. You know, right. So there's still. But, you know. You, you know but, but nothing. That's, that's, er, that's Eric, just what I felt. You but, know, so. you know, this stuff happened to you when you were a kid, and then you have these feelings where you quote unquote act like a on Twitter. And, you know, I'm not saying you're a. I'm just saying, you know, that term minor attracted person? Well, a map. No. What? A map of minor attracted person. A what? Minor attracted person. Minor attracted. Okay. Somebody that's attracted to younger than eighteen. Okay. Well. All right. Right. And you know, <clears throat> if this is your fantasy, and this is something that you've been acting out for, had these feelings for twenty years. There's absolutely, there's absolutely people, you know, and I'm like saying. Uh, whether she's real or not, I'm just saying I think you believe she was because you wouldn't... I don't think someone that's a good father like you would be sharing a picture of your daughter to someone you think is fake or some bot or some actor. Well, I mean, there's been a few times and everything on other accounts and stuff, but I mean, like, you know, just because they're easy to talk to and everything like that, you know, so, I mean, it, it's, it's really hard to say. Right, but, you know, there was stuff with Emily that you said barely with barely other other accounts you talk to like the like the eating food the your favorite food just stuff like that yeah, I, I don't i don't see that as a, as a i'm sorry i don't see that as a, as a big deal no and, yeah. and, and that's, that's like i don't and that's what i think I, I don't think it's a i don't i don't think it's a big deal but i'm just saying you know there's stuff that has happened with emily that's happened with no other accounts and that's why that's why i truly do think all the other accounts that said they were underage you believed were fake and just went on with the role play and I think you believed Emily was real, and you got a little bit carried away and ended it because you thought she was real. That's possible. Okay. So do you think there were times where you thought maybe she is real and I shouldn't do this? Yeah, like I said, it's possible. Yeah, that's, that's probably one of the reasons why you know that uh, I I you know cut her off. Okay. You know, especially after after uh, talking to her, it just you know sounded sounded sketchy. And uh, um, it, didn't, it didn't feel right. What do you mean by it? What, like, what do you mean? It sounded sketchy. It didn't feel right. Well, you know, just the pausing between answers, um, and then um, making me feel uncomfortable about asking questions about my daughter. You know, so it, that's yeah. That's what after that happened, I felt uncomfortable, and that's one of that's why you know I cut her off. Well, I mean, still the next morning, you were like, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to meet. But then when she started arguing with you that day about not coming, that's when, that's yeah, when. Yeah, because I had to like kind of feed her a little bit. Like, right. Oh, this, is, this is what's happening. Yeah, we're just not happening, so. I mean, it, I mean, it was one of the reasons you cut her off because, because you thought like, I'm, I'm, I'm having this with a real kid and I don't want to have this with a real kid. No, she made me feel uncomfortable about asking questions about my daughter. Okay, so that's that's the main reason why I I felt uncomfortable. Okay, um, you know, and uh, so that's yeah. Okay. Did so? I mean, you mentioned like a few minutes ago that there that there could have been a belief you thought she was real. I mean, how, when when did you believe you, she was real? When did you believe she was fake, if any at all? I still believe she's fake. Okay. I, you know, are, I, are, are any of the pictures she sent you? They look like an eighteen-year-old. They look like a like a like they do look like a little girl. Okay. And everything like that, but that uh, again, you know, with with what I've dealt with on Twitter, you know, people just sending pictures of random young girls portraying to the, to them or whatever is not uncommon. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just again, it's just more being blindsided by more fake stuff and not knowing if it's fake or not. People send you. People, so these other people would send you pictures of like young girls and like, would this be in your DMs and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, okay. like, like what do you think of her or, or what do you think of my, my new, you know, uh, you know, haircut or, or okay. you know, or, you know, just, you know, some random like that. 
would, would these pic people sending pictures of young girls, whether it was them or not, would they ever send them like, you know, maybe not with another guy, but maybe just like in the nude and stuff like that? I can't remember. There's all kinds of stuff. I mean, I'm not saying all of them, but like, were any of them like maybe topless or bottomless? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, so you've seen, or people have sent you these pictures of like young girls, like under 18, like topless or bottomless and stuff like I'm that? Not sure if they're under 18. Okay. But do they look like but super. They look like young actresses. Okay. So. I mean, do they look like actresses or super young girls? Because they look like young girls. Okay. So. I don't, I mean, unless, I mean, if, so if he, who knows if they're actresses or not, okay. or models, or, or whatever. Do, do you think these naked pictures of young girls look like they could be probably, on, and I'm not saying it's your fault for getting no, them. No, I'm, I'm not going to say either way. I'm say they look like young girls, Okay. and I, I have no idea. It's something that people send me, so I figured that it's, you know, of age, and everything like that, because, you know, that's what, you know, what they're sending me. Sometimes it's new, sometimes it's not, mm -hmm. you know, so. I'm not, you know, qualified to say if, if they're underage or not. Right. Look, man, and, you know, I, I think I can, I can use you to help me find who's actually sending you that stuff. But, you know, I, I understand kind of being guarded about this type of stuff because it's really, it's really dipping into the water of stuff that isn't, uh, <clears throat> that isn't, that's very taboo rather than just words. But, you know, as, as somebody that self-identifies as acting like a on Twitter, it's a very low chance that those pictures of young girls you've received naked weren't children. I mean, you you have yeah, I'm I mean sure you I'm you sure they're actresses, yeah. Yeah, but they're not actresses that are eighteen. Oh, who knows? I mean, I know, I know, but you, but you, you have it, you have a daughter. I mean, you know what, you know what a kid looks like. Yeah, they're definitely not kids. That's okay. for sure. Do you, uh, do you think they could be like maybe young adults, like thirteen or fourteen? No, 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 they got you know, you know nice perky boobs and everything like that. And, you know, so I, I doubt it. Okay, but you said these pictures were of really, really young girls. Yeah, they look young. Okay. There's kind, there's teen for fuck's sake. Okay. You know, they look young. That's their job to look young and, you know, that's what teen is all about. Okay. <clears throat> so I keep trying, you know, to, to put that in there, are the underage girls, like underage girls, who knows? As far as I know, they're just actresses and everything, or mo nude models and everything like that, um, you know, topless or, or whatever, uh -huh. that look young. Teen is a thing. Did, did, like, they ever tell you the name of these actresses? No. Okay. Well, sometimes, like, like she's a really young-looking actress. Well, yeah, I mean... Uh, you know, so, I mean, like, there's, you know, certain certain ones. <clears throat> right, but the ones that, like, look super young or... So, were these profiles, like, representing themselves as young girls? Did they send so, you nudes of the same person that was in that picture representing themselves as young? Or as, I like, under remember. Okay. It's like I said, there's so many pictures, so many... You know, uh, trading pics of, of whatever. So mm -hmm. who knows? I mean, basically, Eric, what I'm getting, and like, like I said, I know you don't produce these images, but there's a very, very high chance that some that some asshole online probably sent you child. Well, that sucks, and I highly doubt it, but <sighs> whatever. So. And you said there's 10 accounts that represent themselves as under as underage that of I'm not I'm not giving a specific figure. I'm right. just saying there are accounts like that. Right. So like I, and this is this is why I think like, you know, there there needs to be Oh god, I <clears throat> really need the pickles. See, oh god, we got to go to Walmart after this and get fried pickles, man. But this this is this is what I'm kind of kind of curious about. So Emily asked you on the phone, you know, and I'm glad she's not here. But do you fantasize about your daughter? She asked you that, and you said yes. Kind of went along with the fantasy. Like I said, I was kind of taken back. and was kind of hesitant to say. Okay. Is it a fantasy that you're not proud of? It's not a fantasy at all. Okay. Okay. Like I said I was kind of going with her flow kind of going with her her lead and what she was asking me 
that's when I started feeling uncomfortable. And you said other accounts have asked you the same thing about your daughter? If I remember correctly, some have. Okay. And what do you say? You just kind of say, yes, I do have that fantasy to them? Or? No, I just usually say no, or I don't acknowledge the, the question, and I move on to another part of my fantasy. So why with Emily did you say you had a fantasy about your daughter? If you don't go with the flow with the other ones, why with Emily? Because I was talking to her live. I wanted to see what she would, you know, kind of think, you know, uh -huh. say. You know, is this really what she is into? You know, more just, uh, curiosity. Okay. Would be the, the main thing. Do you think maybe the taboo excited you a bit there? No. Okay. No, because like I said, I felt <clears throat> uncomfortable. Okay. So, so with with the other accounts that represent themselves as underage, have y'all ever, have y'all ever like called before and stuff like that and talked about this type of stuff on the phone? No. So Emily's the only one you actually had a phone call with. An actual phone call. Yeah, or would y'all video call or phone call? No, uh, it was like a like it was like a regular. Uh, it was not a video call, but it was just a, it was a call like. It could have been a video call for you, like switch over. Sure, sure. Oh, like a Facebook audio call. Yeah, audio, audio thank you. Audio mm -hmm. call. Audio call. So do these other accounts, do they talk to you on Twitter or Facebook, or is it only Twitter? Or? It was a Twitter thing. Okay. So Emily was the only one that was on Facebook with you talking about the stuff? Yeah. Okay. And I, on Twitter, is there even an option to video call people? I think so. Or audio call them? Or? I think so. Okay. <clears throat> I know there's audio messages. Right. But I, I think you're saying I think so. I think that means you've probably never done it before then. Yeah, I don't... I've done audio messages, but not... Or video messages, but I don't think I've done calls. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Got it. Okay, I see. So, look, man. That, that's... I mean, you were on the phone with Emily with none of these other accounts. Because all the other ones try to sell you stuff. They're only on Twitter. Emily actually had a Facebook. She posted photos of herself. Never did she post a photo that, in your eyes, looked like an adult. No, no, and again, that's uh, not knowing what to believe from what I've, you know, seen on Twitter and everything mm -hmm. like that. You know, it could have been, you know, it's just, you know, an actress using that particular photograph of a girl. Because that's not uncommon either on on, on Facebook or uh, on on Twitter. So I didn't know what to believe. Right, but then she got on the phone with you. Uh -huh. And and yeah, she sounded young and all, and like and that's some girls can act and sound young. So 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 okay. Well, what I think what I think is happening now, Eric, is I think, I think I think you telling me that despite Emily doing everything in her power to show that she's real, and basically every checking every box that a real person would check out, I think right now, <coughs> bless you. I think I think right now, what's what's hap What I'm hearing is probably a. A, a little bit of a coping mechanism or a, or a shell that because I could see man you feel bad about this I, I know you don't feel bad about the other accounts that said they were underage because you thought they were fake so who gives a f about a fantasy but I could see you feel bad about Emily yeah you know, just because I, I you know there's always in the back of my head there's always you know what if what if what if but I always cling to that while she was on Twitter she's just a Twitter but you never had those the what ifs with those Twitter accounts no, no, because okay. like I said, they're, they're pretty... Uh, Blatant? Pretty kinky. Sure. But then again, um, you know... Because you know. with Emily, I mean, you know, you look at these messages, um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to read one here. I mean, you know, the worship fantasy. And I want you to be totally honest with me about everything you are thinking and feeling. Like, what are you thinking about me? Am I a monster? Am I a bad man? Or do you think I'm a freak? I like you a lot, Emily, and I just want to worship you. The way my heart races and pounds in my chest, I wish you could feel it right now. My yearning to protect you and love you above others doesn't sound bad to me. Stuff like, I want to wrap my arms around you, it's done, won't sleep. But, so you mentioned these other accounts got kinky with you too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, did they say stuff like, I want to suck your dick and I can't wait to work, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, with Emily, she's giving you one word responses, yes. Yeah, she never did respond no, to everything. No, yes. I don't think you're bad. Please, I do. Me too, what you do yeah, for she, work. She was, she was a listener. Yeah, that's, well, <laughs> if I ever interview someone else about this, I'll use the term listener. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, leave me hanging. God. Uh, I'm, I'm a 22. <laughs> Probably not. Um, <clears throat> you want to get something for you? No, please. Okay.
You got it? Yes. All right. Is that a PS4? Yeah. Awesome. It's old and decrepit. All right. <clears throat> I need a PS5. So bad. So look, man. I mean, oh, yeah, but, Emily. Emily was the Emily was the only one on Facebook that would actually call you. She's the only one to talk to you on Facebook. You mentioned these other accounts would get kinky with you. I understand at first thinking Emily's one of those accounts, for sure. You're, she's on Twitter. Fair game. I get that. But <clears throat> and, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of fun to to have somebody else kind of go from Twitter to, to 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 Facebook and everything like that and be interactive and stuff. You know, so it was all. Right. That was all part of the game. <clears throat> but I think it started as a game for you and turned into something real. And then you, I think you realized that because well, you, you said she, you... It wasn't real. It was just... Someone something. you thought was real. I know you weren't going to go meet her. It was, it was a, a, a scenario that I played into and let get out of hand that, okay. that, uh, that I shouldn't have and everything like that. That's, you know, that's why the... That's why the, the, there was, you know, it was all about Texas and, and you know, the, the, the whole, you know, meet up and everything like that. It was, you know, it was just, it's, it's fun to tell a story and to, to just to kind of and have interaction and everything like right. that. And, and a little bit of feedback or, right. or, or, and, or whatever. And, you know? and, and I know you weren't going to go meet her or do any of the stuff you said in person with no, her. Uh -huh. And, <clears throat> but, the, but, that's, but that's why I think. You did think she was real because look, you said all these other accounts got kinky with you, ask you for money, offer you to sell stuff. Emily did none of that. Right, you guys talked about you, you said that already, right. So and you guys talk about Mexican. You, you guys talk about Mexican food. You guys actually talked on the phone, which didn't happen with any other account. So, do I think that you would actually talk to who you think's a real kid again? Never. I don't think that. But do I think, or well, do I know that? You thought this was a real kid, at least at at least maybe after a, a couple times messaging her. Yeah, I do, and that's why I'm here talking to you, man. Okay, well, I mean, I, I do appreciate that, and it's I, I can tell you right now, it's it's not not going to happen again. Okay. Um, you know, and you know, so I don't know what else you want me to. I mean, were there times that? I don't know what else you want me to do or or, or say. I mean, um, you know, like I said, I've already taken steps to. You know, like I said, cut the, 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 the darkness out of my life and everything like that and focus on the main thing that I have, which is my daughter and everything like that. And that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. I don't care about all, any of this stuff anymore. Oh, I know. You know, so I, if that stuff could be just, can be buried and not even, you know, brought up again and everything like that, I can, you know, raise my daughter in a happy place and that's what I want to do. Was, was Emily the last, uh, was she the last profile you talked to about this type of stuff? Or was there one after her? I have no idea. Because I was, I was always, always bouncing back and forth from, from you know, a little bit of Facebook to lots of Twitter. Then I cut uh, cut her off and everything like that because of what she asked me. And then I, and then that, oh, when I went to Twitter, then that, uh, uh, that's when I cut Twitter off. I was like, no, let's just deactivate everything and let's just be done with this. <clears throat> I, I think I think all of that indicates, especially with you saying Emily didn't get kinky with you back, I think that indicates, especially you cutting everything off, saying you're going too far, I think that indicates you knew she was real. And, and I, I, sure, you know, I, you know I'll, I'll agree with you on that. Okay. You know, you know it, was, it was a red flag and everything like that. And it was a red flag that was always there, you know, but it, it was just one of those things like, yeah, what if, what if she's just still, what if she's still, you know, just a, a, a Twitter and everything. But, uh, you know, once you know, get you know, too many red flags, and then and then uh, and then yeah, once the 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 she asked, then once she made me feel uncomfortable, and and uh, the really really slow responses and everything like that, mm -hmm. it's just like okay, this is she really is not who she portrayed on Twitter and everything like that, and uh, you know, so when you when you believe when you start to believe she could have been real. Was it like on Twitter, no, or was, on Facebook, it was, it was, or? It was during during the, the, the audio call. It was the, the, like like I said when, uh -huh. when there was like spaces between, you know, commu the communication and everything like that, and then like you know at her voice, and then just her simple way that she would ask things and everything like that. You know, I was feeling uncomfortable, and then the way you know the way she asked me if I do something with my daughter and everything like that, it just didn't, 
So the way that she asked it and everything like that, it just didn't. Yeah, it didn't feel. It didn't feel like a, a like an eighteen year old or you know okay. an older adult the way that they would ask. So, so then, anyway, I don't know if that makes sense. No, I, I get it. I get um, it. But it was like the the, the tone, <clears throat> the way she put the words together, and it just didn't. It didn't feel right. So that's basically what made you believe she was real. Yeah. Okay. So was it like immediately during the call? Was it like when, when during the call did you did it hit? That's, you? I, yeah, it's hard to say. I want to say it was not immediately. Uh. -huh. But it was it was like shortly thereafter. Okay. Like maybe mid maybe. So if it was say it's it was a forty minute phone call. Guess what? Give me a ballpark of what minute you thought she was started to be started to think this was an eleven year old girl you were talking to. I want to say like mid, like twenty minute mark. I, it's like I said, I don't. Right? Yeah, I, I know you. I know you can't timestamp it right now, uh, but. But uh, you know, it was, yeah, it was like I want to say like halfway because I would ask something and it'd just be a pause, like she didn't hear me, uh -huh. or, or something like the communication wasn't all that great, or something like that. Right. Or, or the sound, or whatever. Uh, like it really sounded like a little girl on that call with you. Yeah, yeah, I started getting the feeling of a little girl. Not, not yeah, because a lot of girls can sound like a little girl, but right. the feeling of somebody that was not of, of, of proper age. Of course. So what I'm getting at here, Eric, is even after the video call, you still sent sexual messages to her. It didn't, you, the video call didn't happen, and then you were like, block, you are too young. There were still sexual messages yeah, for a whole see, day after. Was it, see, I, like I said, it's so, so vague. You know, there's a hope, maybe. I mean, h whatever you want to call it, I think he just f***ed up. Yeah. I mean, at least he didn't go meet her in person and hurt her, you know? Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... Her actually, but it, yeah, like I said, it was a fantasy that just went way, way too far, and, and uh, yeah, I let myself go down way too far down the rabbit hole, and, and curiosity just got got ahead of me. Fast, right? <sighs> so basically, after the. After the video call, pulling it up right, uh, what day did y'all call? No, y'all called on December 11th and the meeting day was December 13th. So after the video call, yep. So after the video call, she had, she had to end it because she said mom called and you said, hey, where did you go? And then you, you said, okay, baby, we will, we will talk right. soon again. That's right. Yeah, see, I don't even remember any of that. Okay, but you remember, you remember mom saying like, you remember saying, where'd you go? Yeah, I do remember saying that, yeah, because uh, it was an abrupt call. Yeah, yeah abrupt yeah, ending, abrupt ending. sure. That, that was another thing that, uh, that's right, that's right, that was another thing that, that made me feel uncomfortable. I was like, There's I no adult that. has mommy walk in. Yeah, so it, just, it felt, yeah, it felt, it felt odd. Right, so the call so ended. Con so I contemplated it for like a day. Sure. So the, the call ended at 12.53 on December 11th p.m. And then at 5.44 p.m. you say, mm, baby, let me sneak a peek at your I want to see you so bad or your ass or maybe your feet. Mm, show me your panties and slide them over just a little to see a sneak peek of your So e being, even then. I, mean, I was being aggressive just because I was pissed. Yeah. After, after, this is after you said you believe she was real. You still asked to see her That's not disputable, man. So what, why? No, like, you up. It was, yeah, I've, I've, I would say, yeah, I told you f***ed up, but I mean, like, I'm just trying to remember how it was, yeah, what, I'm trying to remember what, what my logic was, because, uh, yeah, I had the bad feelings. Oh, that, I was going to see if she wanted, if she was just going to block me, if, if I was bull, okay, that's right. Were you kind of making sure, were you kind of seeing if it was going to be a mutual, mutual thing with her? Was that? Were you? <clears throat> you said you were gonna see if she were gonna block you. Were you kind of leaving it in her court to keep talking to you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you didn't want to like force anything. You kind of wanted to leave it up to her. Is that what was yeah, going on? Okay. Yeah, it, was, it was something like that and stuff. The f 
See, I'm real. I'm, I'm real because my mom just texted me. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so, so is this is this with Emily the only time you asked who you thought to be a real girl to see some nudes? She's a little, real little girl, real underage girl to see some nudes. Say the Is is with Emily the only time you asked a real little girl to see some nudes? Real underage girl. Oh, I've no, I've asked for so many nudes before. I, well, I'm not really asked, but. But kind of like, uh, you know, after we get kinky and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, say, hey, you want to trade pigs or whatever like that. Sure. Some of the other accounts. With the, the, the other underage accounts? Or just other accounts in general. Sure, sure. But it, but is Emily the only one that you still ask to see her after you thought she was, like, more than likely real? Or were there others you thought were real underage, no, too? No, 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 no. I can't remember. Okay, Emily's the only one you remember with that stuff. Yeah, because that's as far because she was the only one that really had, you know, the, 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 the that I got involved with fantasy and everything like that. I didn't really get involved with any other fantasies that I kind of built things on and everything like that. Uh, you know, you know, telling a story and everything like that. Uh, right, but basically, I'm just wondering, um, you know, why you asked who you thought was this real girl to see her for the phone call? Like, why? I mean. Just to be, just to be vulgar and just to, to you know, to... So sorry, sorry, so sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, there we go. Not really knowing why, really. You just, did you get carried away? No, I, mean, I didn't really care and everything like that. It was just kind of like, uh, you know, if, 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 you know, I, really, I don't really have a, an answer for it, to be honest. You just didn't. You just don't yeah, know why just, it happened. It was just kind of like out of habit, whatever. Like <clears throat> uh -huh. bored, waking up, uh, and you know, just kind of doing something like that that I would normally do on tons of other accounts on Twitter. Sure. It was just kind of out of habit, I guess. Except this was one that you that you could actually, you know, could actually, you know, this was one that was actually, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. Again, still just not knowing. Right, and like but that. until you know, until the phone until, call, until you know what what you're saying is true, and everything like that, you know, you're this is you know, the clarification that you know if she really is underage, and this is you're the clarification, right? Uh, of the <clears throat> well, but you, everything, but, you know, so but I'm still I, not I, knowing, right? But I'm just you know I, I get not knowing, but you said the phone call made you kind of realize, and then after yeah, the. It, 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 me some red flags but, yeah you know. but then after the phone calls when you still ask that's that's so i mean out of all of these if there's just one message to who you thought was underage about asking i'm just saying why did it happen and will it happen again well, i guarantee you it's not going to happen again okay i can tell you that right now because all i care about is my daughter right now mm -hmm. and and uh, can, is there a possibility to wrap this up can we can we What's what's going to be the finale here? What's the conclusion, sir? Well, ba basically, like, you know, what 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 I do know is, you know, it it, <laughs> it it took some prying for you to just finally say that I, at some point I did believe she was real, and you know, I think this is a deeper problem than just with Emily. I think this is I think this is something that's been affecting you your whole life, and you're finally being confronted about it, and. Look, I get the whole bobbing and weaving with the stuff about, and again, I'm so glad you didn't go to meet any of these people saying they were kids, but, you know, out of all these accounts you talk to, I know damn well you've talked to other kids before online. You've been doing this for too long. Did I talk to other kids? Absolutely. Like, who knows? You don't. It's just, it's just, this is what you like. I, don't, I know you're not proud of it, but you like, you like underage, you like underage. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, attracted to teen. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's. Right, but Emily's no teen. I mean, I mean, I understand. Right. That, but there was mm. the whole, you know, lead up to that, and then, right. you know, enjoying the fantasy and getting in, you know, <clears throat> in the fantasy and 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 you know, uh, um, you know, playing a role and everything like that. I and know, but you know, you say you act like a online. It wasn't an act. It's just a feeling. It's just. It's just, I'm not judging you for, I'm not judging you, but do, do you think you are? No, I'm deep down inside, no. Do you think you've done a lot of things that could make people think you're a if, uh, Online, probably. Yeah. You know, and, you know, 
you know, dealing with uh, the, the the trauma, the, the trauma kinks, and talking to them, and and then you know, just going down those dark roads and everything like that. I mean, you know, that's that was kind of like an outlet, basically. You know, it was for a while and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, but no, I, no, deep downside, absolutely not. Because you know, <coughs> if, if I was, then I would have you know every little kid or whatever would be like an attraction for me and everything like that and that's not how it is at all whatsoever right but these 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 profiles that say they're underage i'm not talking about emily anymore but you know even with emily she still asked who you thought was an 11 year old for a picture of you still uh you talk to these other underage profiles that are pictures of kids are they i mean is that what you said they're pictures of kids no, I never said anything about pictures of kids. They just look super young. These their profiles don't even are they're just they're, they're anime characters. Oh, okay. You know, so it's, you don't even know who you're really talking to. Okay, so Eric, I'm going to tell you that those anime, those anime profiles, they they frequent Twitter a lot. Um, I don't think you see many of them on Facebook. So yeah. I'm I'm going I'm to let you know that um, I do, I, I do. You are the first person I've confronted about this type of stuff, and. Not only do I know your online history, I know what happens with those anime profiles. Those are nine out of ten times child accounts. Oh, okay, and <clears throat> just like at the door, just like at the door, you know, at first playing a little, playing a little bit dumb stuff. And again, I know you would never produce child, or you would never spread it around. But if you act like a online, what do act like online? They ask for child, they seek it out, they do all of this stuff. And don't think I ha don't think Emily was the first time that I found out about you. Mm. You know, so <clears throat> if if you've received child before, and again, I'm not faulting you for receiving it because you're a victim of this and you get sucked into it. If you were producing it, we'd have a different conversation right, right now. Totally for sure. Yeah, and you probably agree with me. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, sir. Right. So, 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 what do you want from me then? How many times have you received child? None that I know of. Eric, that's bull. No, how is that both? Because these anime profiles that send you these pictures of kids, never do they say that they're 18 years old. That's horse. They send you these nudes of really young looking people. Okay. I seen who you would follow on Twitter. Yeah, all of these dark kinks. Twitter's a bad place. It's it, it sucked is. you into it. Right, right. So, so <clears throat> but I haven't received the only thing that I receive are like I said, you know, um, pictures of of you know actresses that I, that I might have seen, you know, in that you know really young young teen, uh, uh, you know, like I said, teen. Um, you know, there's there's uh, young anime, you know, uh, characters. Lolly. That they that they play or whatever like that. You know, uh, uh, cosplay or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's uh, there's things like that. But I have not not that I know of received any child. Have you ever received that you know of a naked picture of someone under 18 that these anime profiles have sent you? I'm not saying you asked for it. I'm asking, have they DM'd it to you before? I've gotten nudes before, but I mean, not that I, I can't. I have no way of telling. Right. If they're them or, or who it is. Did, did, they or, say, did they say the nudes were of someone under 18, whether you knew no, or not? Uh, not that I know. No. Uh -uh. Well, these profiles representing themselves as younger than 18, you said have sent you nudes before. That's that's all part of you know their whatever they're doing. That's the, I don't know if it's you know like I said if it's them or if it's you know just you know some random um, you know team actress. Okay. You know, so that's 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 all that where that lies. Were, were they like also? Did they also say they were eleven and twelve like Emily or? No. Huh? Were they like more like thirteen, fourteen? Fifteen, sixteen. They would portray. I think. Okay. How many others portrayed as 11 to 14 besides Emily? No, not that I remember. Okay, well, I've seen you follow those accounts. Well, there's a big follow button thing. When you follow somebody, a big thing pops up and it says, you know, follow this group mm -hmm. and like that, and I'll just, like, follow all. Right. You know, so that's that, that could be that. Whoever's related to that gives you suggestions, you know. So, I mean, there's all kinds of, you know, things that could have happened like that. Did any of these accounts that you follow that happen to be 13, 14, do they get kinky with you too? I can't remember. Do you think they probably did? It's possible. Okay. 
So, Eric, if these people are sending, if these people saying they're 15, 16, or whatever age under 18 are sending you nudes, are sending you nudes of themselves, or saying it's them, I think it's a big coping mechanism that you're saying you've never received any nudes of kids before. I mean, they're sending you nudes, saying that they're kids, claiming it's them, and it's a kid talking to you. And, I mean... They never really claimed that it was them, but, I mean, there's no way to tell if it was them or not. Right, because you know, these anime profiles... You know, so they might, you know, send a, a you know, a, you know a, a butt shot or, or you know, a, you know, a topless shot or... or of, of whoever, you know, of uh, all I can think of is, you know, I might have seen that face in, in before, you know, that, that type of thing. It's, but are there times where you haven't seen those faces? I have, couldn't tell you because there's so many faces. Okay. I could, could really honestly couldn't tell you. Okay. I mean, so, Eric, those accounts are... <clears throat> and, 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 and that's another reason why I, I you know, stopped... Uh, you know, I got off uh, uh, deactivated Twitter in the first place, you know, because I was just like, I'm just done with this. This is, you know, not where I want to be in life. This is, I'm, I'm, you know, better than this. And, uh, yeah, I have, you know, I, I got a daughter. So, I mean, what, so what else do you want from me? Okay, you're, you're, you're you know, you've accuse me of having or of have gotten child which I have not to my knowledge so what else can I do for you I mean I just, I just find it hard to believe that a person that's been attracted to minors for I'm sorry you find that hard to believe no I'm not um, that's been attracted to minors for two decades at this point has never but, tried uh, to seek out you know or receive child yeah why is that so hard to believe because obviously with Emily, you got a little bit carried away. I mean, you try to seek it out with Emily, but like, you know, I'm talking about with others that have tried to sell you stuff, all of this stuff. Well, I haven't bought anything. Um, I haven't bought content. I don't buy content. Have they tried to sell you child and you didn't I buy it? I wouldn't know if it was child or not. You know, so these accusations are really getting out of hand. Well, you know, regardless, somebody's going to go through your phone and see what you, exactly what you received. And I already know it's not going to be good. And something tells me when the, your phone's finally looked through that you're going to be like, okay, I have, I, I, I didn't want this. I didn't send any. I didn't produce any. Someone, somebody's going to tell me that, that obviously there's crap on there or that was there's, on there that shouldn't have been. There's, there's uh, um, the what you call the the, the, the lolly uh, yeah. some some uh, lolly pictures uh huh um, see here there's uh, you know there's probably some uh, uh, what is it I wouldn't call it uh, but I mean there's you know there's uh, there's modeling child modeling okay um, you know kid, you know uh, kind of like um you know, beauty pageant type stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that somebody would s uh, send me whatever. Hey, do you think she's pretty? Uh -huh. You know, that type of thing. Um, let's see here. That's, that's That would be about it. Mm, about it? Okay. You know, yeah, like I said, it's, you know, some lolly and some um, some child modeling. And other than that, that would, uh, anything else would be mattresses and foot fetish stuff. Foot fetish, I believe. I mean, that's that's all you, that's all you talk about on your Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, I, I'm, I like I like cute feet. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, ten toes down for the feet, baby. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but you, you know, so, Eric, so, if if you've been sent child modeling, are they what are they in bikinis? Yeah, bikinis and doing provocative poses. Yeah. Okay, so that's prepubescent, isn't it? What's that? Is that like prepubescent ch children in those yeah, bikinis? Yeah, I'd say they're like, like nine or something. Okay. They look, they look really young. Okay. So uh, how many of those child modeling pictures, and I'm not saying like full-fledged where there's a guy in it with them, having sex with them. Uh, I'm saying how uh, many... The penetration. Right. Yeah. How many of those child modeling pictures do you think were maybe bottomless or topless? Oh, none of those. None of those? No, no. They're all, like I said, in bikinis or, or, or whatever. Okay. Yeah, Are any of them in like G-strings? 
They had like stream bikinis. Some of them were in stream bikinis, I think. Uh, like little girls in stream bikinis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you see any of their girls um, through the bikinis? Negative. Okay. No, yeah, that, was, that was probably about, yeah, that's, that was close to child. You know, as because yeah, as I ever gotten besides the the, the, the lolly, right? Icon weird stuff. Okay, so is that in your gallery or is that like deleted from your gallery or is that where where, where can I find those images on your phone? I you on Twitter. <laughs> you don't need to show me. I'm just asking. It'd be in Twitter, my Twitter gallery. <clears throat> okay. Well, you don't need to show me. Um. I'll, I'll, come in. Wait. Hang on. Okay. You good? Oh, sorry. So you're gonna take me away, huh? You want me to open it or you got it? Oh, no, officer. I just need to make sure that nobody's hurt. No, nobody's hurt. Nothing like that, so. No, we're good, sir. Hey. You don't look like you're doing so well with a neck brace. <laughs> yeah, he, he was already injured when we, we got here, yeah. We didn't like touch him or anything. They slammed me down, officer, to beat the crap out of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, At this we're... point, I have other officers coming. Okay. I just needed to make verify nobody was- Yeah, uh, no, no. Being assaulted or- No, or definitely. Being hurt against their will, so. No, we filmed, we filmed the whole thing. Like, Perfect. No, oh, I'm, I'm good with that. We're just gonna stand by. Are you you okay closing the door with talking with them? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna close the door. I just obviously just need to verify. So we'll close the door for now. I'll wait for my other partner to get here and we'll talk to you. Okay. Your, your people. <coughs> Hold her. You're in a bad situation right now, man. Oh my god, dude. Uh huh. So, oh my God, I can't. This can't be happening. This. Tell the truth about what's on your phone. I, I just told you. I'm, I'm no. I, I'm good, oh man. You don't need to show me, bro. I mean. There's, yeah, there's the lolly, there's, you know, there's, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, you know, I have a lot of pictures because I, you know, took a lot of pictures from, from Twitter because I like feeds, I like, you know, I like hot, sexy pictures. Okay, Eric, bef before, I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time looking through your gallery. I'm, at, this, at this point, I'm testing your honesty, dude. Because you've been honest about most of these things, about acting like a p online, which not really an act when you're following through with it. But <clears throat> I know you don't want to be known as this, and I'm not judging you. But look, look how, but look how, look how nervous you are, man. You've been. Well, because I, obviously I'm nervous because I'm I am a father, and I did, you know, I talked to you know a, a young girl and everything like that that went too far, and now I'm going to be taken to prison. And and I have a daughter, I, my daughter. Well, you just need to brace yourself, man. Oh, well, you did, see, you got it, you got it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What, what? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, man. So, look, so you've had this attraction for 20 years. Right now, what I would do is I would just, I would just, all here, forget it. Tell the truth about, about the CP. No. Tell the tell the truth what? about the child. I, I know you've been sent it before because nobody that gets into this online has not been sent it. And nobody that's had this attraction for 20 years, and it's not your fault that you've had this attraction because it happened to you, but it, now it's your responsibility to be honest about it and to and to stop the cycle. So I'm not talking about what's on your gallery. I'm talking about how many times you've been have you been sent naked kids before? Give me the real real answer. I haven't been sent any kids. Oh, that's horrible. You, 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 you have them in G-strings on your phone, man. You have little nine-year-olds in G-strings on your phone, and you've never seen a little kid before online. That's bull, Eric. Tell the truth. Dude. Tell the truth. 
you, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna, because you know, eventually that's gonna be looked through. And I'm not just talking about your gallery. I'm talking about what you've seen on Twitter, what you've received on Twitter. Like I haven't been following your Twitter account. What you've been seeing? Who's been DMing you? Like I'm, like I'm some dumbass that came two thousand well, miles yeah, not knowing. Then, then so tell know, the, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Got, then you would know that I haven't received any child. Oh, that's so the naked people that said they were 15, 16, you don't know if it's real or not. I mean, dude, it's, it's all a coping mechanism with you, man. Everything's just coping with you. You can't even own up to the truth. If, if, because I, what, because I didn't know? Because I, if I, you know, somebody sends me something that's, what, what? Maybe the first time you didn't know, but this happened with how many accounts that said they were underage sending you nudes? You said 10, ballpark. Trading pictures? Is that not child that when 15 and 16 year olds send you nudes of themselves? They are portraying that, but that, that doesn't mean that that's what, what they're sending Did me. they tell you they were an actress? Ever? No, because they're okay. selling ones like sell content or whatever. Right. So, first of all, those are anime, those anime people, yeah. that content, child traders, Eric, and you know that. You absolutely know that. And you can try to sit here and bull with me i'm not stupid because i've been around this block and i know how these people operate and look i'm not saying you're the kingpin of this not even anywhere near it you don't want to harm kids i know but <clears throat> you've dipped your toes in that water you've been getting sent that crap and this is the one damn thing you won't fess up and tell the truth about i can't fess up to something that i don't know i'm not gonna fess up to something that I didn't know if it was or wasn't. I'm not gonna confess to, to, to something that I don't think I'm guilty of because I didn't know if it was, you know, uh, an, uh, an actress, you know, or, or just a, um, it was, you know, a, a, what do they call it, a worker? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, who, not knowing isn't a crime and everything like, you know, is, I really just don't you, you found yourself in ten, at least 10 ignorant situations then, where these profiles are saying that they're underage, sending you nudes, pre pretending, or if it is them. Right, pretending, you know, being a fan, you know, it's all about fantasy, it was all about fantasy. Right. Right. And so, so, so the first time, sure, but the nine other times, I'm throwing a ballpark here, you've, you've condoned the, these people at the very least, betraying to be underage, sending you nudes. If that isn't condoning child, I don't know what is. I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you either. You know, I don't, uh, um... Because, go ahead. No, I was, you know, it's, you know, whatever they want to, you know, send me and everything like that, if they're going to, you know, act, you know, like a, a, a worker or, or whatever like that. But they're not acting like a Worker, they're acting like a kid. Who's acting like a kid? The people saying that they're kids. No. You said that was that fantasy. You said that was the taboo they're, about it. They're, they're, you know, they're uh, betraying, you know, all the, well, you can see all their Twitters, all their old tweets and everything like betraying that. Betraying as what, kids? No, just betraying, um, you, know, kink, you know, being kinky, being... Uh, age play? Yeah, doing, doing age play, whatever, talking about old fantasies. Is that not betraying as kids? Is, that, is saying that they're 15, 16 not betraying as someone that's 15 and 16? Yeah, betraying and acting, is that's totally uh, different from being real. How do you know that they're fake? Uh, I, I gather. You gather? So yeah, they, I'll, they, I'll, I'll figure that they're fake. Okay. They're, uh -huh. know, if, if, if they're, you know, be, you know, talk about this stuff and, and then, you know, and, and sell content, then that's, <clears throat> would, that would be, you know, uh, somebody of age to me. Uh huh. Well, you, your shirt should really just say hot air because that's all you're blowing. I think hot's maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't, nothing about you is really hot. But, you know, you're, you're just full of, you're, I mean, you're full of, full of hot air. You truly are. I mean, <clears throat> I came here thinking, I came here with this vision of you as a good father, as somebody that maybe just needs a little bit of help with this, who was maybe abused as a kid. But so far, you've given me all these half answers about how? everything. I want to know how. What, what, half-ass answers when I don't believe that I've gotten anything from you know any of these uh, uh, child accounts. Right, but because Miss, Mr. Age Play doesn't receive images of nine-year-olds in G-strings and then not receive any nudes of those said kids. Because that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know those photos are on your phone because you're to them. That's not what I'm 
too, but okay. Why are they on your phone then? Because they're, they're uh, you know, cause I thought they were a pretty, you know, a cute picture. Okay. You're sitting, you sit at home all day. And you don't, and there are cute pictures you save. So you don't actually save the stuff you to, but you save what you don't to. Horse, Eric. Horse. I'm not saying. You don't know me. I'm not saying. I'm I mean, not saying that those pictures of little nine-year-olds and G-strings are child. But I think you have a serious issue and you need to get some help, man. You do. So, how many times did you f*** those images in your gallery, whether it's Lolly or the G-strings or any of that? How many times? What's that? How many times did you f*** the images in your gallery, or it's a Lolly or the G-strings? None, really, because it was more, like, for keepsake, for shock value. For shock value. Mm -hmm. Does that, I mean, does that not excite you? What? Does that not excite you? Isn't the whole thing that excites you about this taboo? See, you're trying to, like, make me into something that I'm really not. Okay. No, I don't. I'm, I don't think the way you're thinking. You know, I do keep some uh, uh, pictures and everything like that because you know they're like, oh wow, that was you know cute, or wow, that's pretty shocking. You know, um, I'm a picture. I, I'm a picture fanatic. I, you know, if it shocks you or if it uh, you know grabs your attention or whatever, you know, I'll just download it just because, not because I'm gonna to it or anything like that. You know. Um, so, I mean, it, yeah, so. Uh, so basically, I, I rest my case. I mean, if you said that you download those pictures because you find them cute, I think you have a serious issue if you find a nine year old in a G string cute. Serious issue. Not cute like your daughter is in, oh, she's like walking, that's adorable. Cute is in sexual, she's wearing a G string. Well, I mean, shit. And there, were, there were pretty pictures. Yeah. I mean, that's. Uh, what can I say other than that? I mean, you know, there's beauty pageants all, all the time, you know? So, I mean, what, what yeah. difference does that <clears throat> I don't think beauty pageants involve G-strings on kids. No, no definitely not. Yeah. Not, but. So, I mean, this is, this is why, I mean, there's a, serious, there's a serious issue going on here. And that's why, with those pictures saved on your phone, that's why not only, not only, and you don't, you don't even have to tell me because it doesn't matter anymore. Um, not only do I think you thought Emily was real during the video call, I think you thought she was real as soon as you got your ass on Facebook. Because if she was real, I mean, what difference would it have made? Wouldn't have made a difference to you. You have a you have a deep issue that you're just claiming you don't have. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't see talking about fantasies or anything like that. You know, especially you know, you know, kinky ones, whatever. When you're sharing fantasies back and forth to other people, but I mean, I. Uh, yeah, but no, but, no. But actually, you know what? That's that's really b besides the point. I, yeah, I. I up talking to somebody that you say is real. I didn't even and say I, she was real or not. You you just said you believe she was after the phone call or during and, the phone call. And I had a I had a feeling that doesn't mean right. You know, but but, but still. But Eric, you're in a situation now where you've got so carried away from the internet that 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 you that you that you say that you fantasize about your four year old daughter. No. You said it. I didn't say I fantasized. I mean, do you want me to play the audio of the phone call? No. See, she asked me a question, and I rolled with it. I rolled with, with her question. That's when I felt uncomfortable. Right, but the but fact that, that you that, didn't and, immediately... And that, and then that, was, and that was bad. The fact that you didn't immediately say bad. no to fantasizing about your daughter, but instead of, instead of saying you do fantasize about her, whether you were asked first or not, yeah, that's a dark place, man, that you're yeah, just not... Like, yeah, 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 you're absolutely 100% right. I don't think she's safe here with you. Excuse me? She's four years old, and you say you fantasize about her coming in and sucking her. You said this. I can pull the audio. I can pull the messages. Pull the audio, yes, but that, like I said, that was, that was, I felt so uncomfortable even saying that. Did you communicate, was, did you communicate, whether you believed it or not, did you communicate that you fantasize about your four-year-old daughter sucking her to Emily, yes or no? I mentioned, I, Roll with her question. Did you communicate that message to her? 
I communicated that that uh, that, that message. In, yes, I okay. do, unfortunately. But in this four-year-old, like I said, like I said, that was. And I was reluctant to even answer that question. I kind of stammered a little bit. Yeah, I was, you know, I was even questioning myself to even answer her question. Here, real quick, ask me if I fantasize. Ask me if I fantasize about my daughter. Go, go, go ask no, me. I, I ask ask I me real quick. You don't. Okay, no, the answer is no, right? I know you don't. The answer is immediately no. Yeah, um, no it just, right. And, you know, I wouldn't be reluctant to answer that question. I would answer it no, then punch the guy in the face that asked me that. There's no reluctance to answer it. You are reluctant to answer it because, because deep down there are some fantasies that you need to get some help for. And if you're not going to at least admit that you do need help, then what's the point of even coming here? Yeah, I would never do anything like that. Who knows six years down the line how dark your mind, how dark of a place your mind's gonna be in, man. It's not a safe situation for her. It's not safe that she's in that room and then daddy's talking on the phone to an 11 year old saying, yeah, I fantasize about my four year old daughter. It's not a safe situation for her, man. There should be no situation where that can be turned against you. There should be no, there should be no strings to attach, man. It's just you're unbelievable, but <clears throat> yeah, I can. Yeah, no, so I was just for sure. When I get my guts, gut instincts, just said no, just like you're saying. But no, I was reluctant and just kind of went with the stupid fantasy. It was disgusting. No. your phone on? Here, open it up. Hey, Mom. I'm going to jail. Because uh, I talked to somebody uh, under I I talked to somebody underage online. There. I'm I'm going to jail because I talked to somebody underage online. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, I'll just take care of Willow. I love you. I just want you to know I love you, Mom. What? I don't know what I'm going to do, Mama. You and Kim take care of Willow. Yeah, most likely.
get here if you can. Get here if you can. Get on your shoes, man. You need help with anything? You got any, do you have any guns that you're going to go and pull right now? Or? <laughs> well, you identified as a libertarian on a line, so I figured you'd be a Second Amendment guy. Does anybody smoke? No. Nah. Yeah. What's in there? Any weapons? No, I'm just getting my boots. I don't hate you, Eric, but you need to come to terms with what's real. I mean, what what do you what do you and little girls have in common, man? I just don't like both wear braces different ways what do you what do you and little girls like have in common dude regardless of any of these accounts were role play or real you've talked to too many for them to not be for some to not be real man you ran into the wrong Cuffing him because of his injury, but he is under arrest right now. What happened? Was it was that a real thing? The forklift thing? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, he definitely wasn't faking that. There's no way. All right. What's gonna happen is you are being placed under arrest, okay? You just try and put your hands on your back. And I know you're a big dude, so I'm gonna double cuff you so it's not having to put a lot of tension in you, alright? Okay. You stay cooperative, you be good. Okay. And then I'm gonna drive my car over here so you don't have to walk all over there. And I'll just back it in right here. What's that? My left leg's about to give out. All right, hold on. Put your hands in the front. I normally don't do this, but I'm going to put them in the front. So you can hold on to the walker, okay? You're not double locked yet. You should be able to hold on. Can you it? Yeah, I'm going to pat down as much as you want to go you got any needles, knife, gun, bazooka, anything like that? Negative. Yeah. Where's your injuries at? Neck. Neck.
Actually, I can't take the marker in with you. I'm going to take, well, I'm going to take this to the side of the other and go along with What's up, guys? If you want to see this Stinghouse catch, um, it is on Locals in the pinned comment. Um, obviously, it's way too spicy um, for here, so it's going to be on Locals in the pinned comment. It's only $5 a month to join. And until February 1st, we're running a promo that you get your first month free if you sign up for monthly. So anyway, join Locals in the pinned comment. You get to see this. A fire lieutenant that got caught many 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 others early and of course uncensored including where I may or may not have shoved a prod so be sure to check it out in the pinned comment because February 1st the price monthly is going up to seven dollars a month because we hit 2,000 members so quick the demand's so high but we're giving you guys a free month until February 1st but after that it's gonna be seven dollars a month so get it now while it lasts